something hit me last night. I This happens more common than I would like it to, where um, everything's good, I have a good day, have a good evening, there's nothing really to worry about, and then I lay down. And then I'm arrested with anxiety, not able to fall asleep. I'm thinking about money, the health of my kids, um, that weird noise that just happened in my office that I don't know where it came from. <laughs> but all of these things happen and are running through my mind and my mind begins to race. My heart rate speeds up and all I want to do is fall asleep. Well, it was last night at about 2 a.m. that I was woken up. I was arrested out of my sleep and I was dealing with all of these things like irrational thoughts like my two-year-old son climbing out of his crib walking downstairs and going outside and being out in the cold or my or my daughter um, getting sick or um, something happening to me or something happening to my wife and all of these irrational things worrying about there's another weird noise <laughs> to well, life happens doesn't it but I'm worried about all these things and then all of a sudden I, I feel like, you know, sometimes you feel like the inside of you speaks to the outside of you. And I had one of those moments. And what I heard was, this is none of your business. And so I had this thought that when I'm trying to put together the pieces for the future, this unknown, uncertain future, when I'm trying to put together the pieces now, I'm really not minding my business. Because I'm trying, I'm trying to play the part of creator. I'm trying to play the part of God in my life instead of playing the part of me. And me, the best place I can be is present. And so I took a few deep breaths. I, I looked around and I thought to myself, I am in this home. My wife is beside me. My kids are in their beds. We're in a warm place. If it rains, we're not going to get wet. No matter how cold it is, we're going to be comfortable in this house. There's enough food to eat in the kitchen and in the pantry. We have, uh, we live in a place where we can get medical attention if we need it. Things are good. And even the things that could be bad later are not bad right now. And so after a few deep breaths and a few moments of really thinking about why I should be grateful for this moment, I was able to go back to sleep. And what I would perhaps like to share with you in this, this insight that I had last night was trying to put together the pieces for an uncertain future is none of our business. Our business is being here now. I hope you have a great day today. Blessings to you and your family. Thank you for being a part of this group. And I'm so excited to see you on December the 17th at 1 o'clock Eastern. See you later, folks.